So there's a few things we're going to make sure of before we put our PTO on. Here you'll have your gasket sealer gasket and then you'll have your gasket shim. You want to make sure that your blue gasket sealers are on the face of the transmission and that another one is on the face of the PTO, whereas your shims are in the centre of these two blue ones. Then what we want to do is we give it a nice little coat of gasket sealant just to uh, you know double the protection and make sure there's no, just in case, just so we can guarantee there's going to be no oil leaking. Then what we're going to do is we're going to just carefully put on our first gasket, first blue gasket sealer. And then we're going to put our shims that are in the middle on next. And here we've also made sure that our blue gasket sealer is on the outside, on the face of the PTO. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little drop of Loctite on each stud before we put the PTO on. Because we don't want the uh, nuts coming off in operation. Just a little drip, doesn't need much. Right. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our PTO. I'm going to very carefully lift it on, line the holes up and slide it on like so. You should be able to get your finger in this little hole, guidance hole up the top. You should be able to get your finger in and you should hear, be able to hear just a little click. And that's the interference between the gear in the transmission and the gear in the PTO. If you don't hear that clicking, take it off and try rotate the gear in the PTO and try find another and pull the PT off, spin it around and actually try and put it on until you hear this click. Once you hear that click you want to grab a nut, put it in the top corner on the stud in the top corner, just firmly with your finger just do it up and then you want to grab a nut on the bottom corner across diagonally, you want to do it up on the bottom corner like so. Now that that's done, you want to grab another nut and you want to put it next to the top nut that you just put on. You just do it up finger tight. What you want to do before you even use a spanner is you want to make sure that you can still hear the clicking and the interference in between those gears. Because if you are doing them up even with your fingers and it stops clicking and it goes tight, you immediately should take the nuts off pull it out and you need to put more packers in to uh, push the actual PTO out so you get more interference between the gears because if you don't you can have uh, the gears break, the teeth can actually sh shatter and uh, you'll have to get a whole new PTO or you might have to fix the gears in the gearbox so we've got the right shims that we can still hear this click just by finger tightening these nuts up so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the rest of the nuts and we're just going to put them on the rest of the studs. Just with your fingers, don't use any spanners yet. Now that all your nuts are on, every stud, finger tight, you want to get your finger, make sure you can still hear that click and that interference. It should be clicking quite loudly, uh, you don't want too much. Anyway, what we're going to do now is because we've got good interferences, we're going to get our spanner and we're just going to firmly do the top corner up, just two half turns and then we're going to go underneath and do two half turns. Then we're going to go back up in the other side, the top corner. We're going to just do it up half a turn. 
and then we're going to do up the bottom corner, up half turn. It should go tight pretty quickly. Still got that interference, make sure that that interference is there. If it goes tight, you're going too far and you're going to snap the gears or you know, you can have all sorts of potential issues. So now that I'm happy that it's not, uh, that we've got enough clearance still, we're going to just nip up those force bolts, those four nuts up. Just nip them up, don't tighten them up fully. We're now going to keep checking that. Every time you do a bolt, uh, nut up, you want to keep checking that interference. But now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to doing these side of the, the rest of the studs. So you want to keep doing it crisscross. So every nut you do up, you want to do the opposite side to that. Just firmly. Half a turn. Keep checking that interference is still clicking. Never use a ratchet, a uh, impact driver for this job. You can either use a torque wrench or a spanner. Still have that interference. So we're gonna start nipping these bolts up now that we are very confident that these gears are aligned and there's a perfect amount of interference between the gear teeth. If you have to go around another time, you want to make sure you do just double check they're all done up nice and tight. Now that interference should uh, only ever so slightly be less of a click. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as there isn't a massive, massive amount of backlash in the teeth and it's only just a small click, then it shouldn't be an issue. Right, now that those are done up, uh, you want to just leave your gasket sealant to dry.